So hey guys, welcome to another episode of Homemade Fridays. This week we are gonna go out to the garden, we're gonna harvest a little zucchini and make one of Grace's favorite meals. Zoodles. Zoodles are a great alternative to using pasta noodles. If you've ever made pasta noodles from scratch, you know it's a huge task, especially if you wanna go from garden to table, all that time growing the grain, harvesting, drying, milling, and then making the noodles themselves. Zucchinis, on the other hand, can be a great alternative and a pretty simple task going from garden to table. Also a great low carb alternative. So if you're a diabetic or someone that might be on a low carb diet, such as Atkins, it's also Whole30 compliant and gluten free. Today we're gonna to use zoodles to make spaghetti. Let's talk about some of our favorite options on how to make zoodles. several different methods out there to be able to make zoodles. One of the more popular ones that you see out there is a device for some of this, kind of a cone option. You take your zucchini, you start twisting it, and there's a little spiral cutting blade here on the side, and then you end up with a little device like this to help protect your hands as you, you drive that zucchini in there. These are probably the most popular out there, but our least favorite of the options that we have. You notice where this blade resides, it sits right there on the side. Sometimes as you, your hand kind of rests there, it's right there. There is a guard there, so it should be safe. It just doesn't quite feel as safe. It's also a little bit more work and we feel like it wastes a lot more of the zucchini and it's not quite as kid friendly. So our second favorite one that we have is a little hand peeler one like this. It does little fine little noodles. The one thing that we really do like about this one is, yeah, there's a little bit of hand motion and work to, involved in this, but this thing's so sharp, it does a great job. And the nice part is, is you don't end up with really big long noodles. <laughs> Out of the three tools that we've used, I think our favorite is this one here. I believe it's called the Vigetti Pro. Forget about it. And there's a couple different... You laughing over there? So there are a couple different settings that you can swap out or change. There's the thin spirals, which is the one that we tend to use when we're trying to make spaghetti. There's the thick spiral, which would actually work great if you're trying to use it for potatoes and making some sort of curly fries. And then there's the ribbon cut as well. This device also has a suction cup, so it makes it really easy just to stick it to the table and get to work. So to kick things off, we're gonna brown up our meat. Today we're using a little venison, you could use beef, you could even skip the meat altogether if you wanted to make this a vegetarian meal. Then we just add in our favorite tomato sauce and bring things up to heat. Today we're using a little homemade tomato sauce can from last year. So we'll add the zoodle noodles to the pan with a little bit of olive oil or avocado oil and we'll put that on a medium heat. The longer you cook these things, the softer they'll get. So if you want a little bit more of a crunchier noodle, don't cook them quite as long. You can even skip cooking them if you prefer. But we tend to cook ours somewhere in the five to six minute range. Very, very good. 
So that's how we make spaghetti using zucchini noodles. Really a great and delicious meal, a low carb meal. And if you're someone that's a little timid, give this meal a try. You'd be surprised actually how close this is. And uh, it's just a great healthy option that's very easy to get from your garden to the dinner plate. And really think this meal is worth a try. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.